Hi, how are you doing today? Well, Trump, Trump, Trump. I'm so sick of Trump. But here we are again, still talking about his legal cases. Well, today, December 9th, 2022, we are still talking about those documents that Trump stole from the White House and his request for a special master. Trump had a subpoena around May where he was told to hand over documents he stole from the White House during his term as president. He did not. He refused. So the Department of Justice had to serve a warrant and federal authorities had to go in and search his clubhouse in Mar-a-Lago and look for where in the world could those documents be. Well, that clubhouse was full of foreign people, heads of state, Saudis, Russians, Ukrainians. Everybody was rummaging through that place, and they are all trained spies. So anything they wanted they could find through Trump or through his property. I'm sure they found many, many things that were supposed to be private or secret, and I'm sure Mar-a-Lago was a huge source of dispensing secrets of the United States and making illegal deals. So anyway, the Fed sent federal agents to Mar-a-Lago. I'm told they got about 13,000 documents that they found and took them to be assessed for their importance and so forth. Trump said no. He didn't want the DOJ to have those special documents, even though they're not his. If they're not his, he doesn't have a say. So why in the world did this even persist? But he went and found a favorite judge, a federal judge, and said, I want a special master. I want somebody who is not in the Department of Justice, who's not connected with this case, to be able to look at all of the documents first and then make determinations. The Department of Justice said, what in the world is this crap? And they protested. Trump lost that case and they said, no, you don't have a special master. Trump continued to fight it and he was able to get a special master appointed. However, with the DOJ fighting it vigorously because this is a horrible precedent for the federal government to not even be able to pursue their own federal cases without the inf interference of some miscellaneous federal judge. Well, today that ended. Trump has lost his chance to have a special master. He was supposed to bring in more evidence as to why he needed a special master. He did it. And so the special master question has finally ended all these months. He is great at stalling and Hunter Biden, whatever his story is, should have no problem getting out of everything by following Trump's lead. Trump normally would have taken this to a Supreme Court. He would have appealed to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court would have taken months, months to look at this and find it, get a decision. By that time, we would have been well into uh, 2023, heading into election year, which is just crazy to have this hanging over the head. So we'll see what happens. Now, the DOJ says, hey, we still don't have all the documents. And in the past, Trump has admitted that he has more documents. But he told the government he wanted to bargain with this stuff. In other words, I'll give you these documents you're demanding, but you have to deal with me. You have to give me what I want. That kind of faded. I never heard anything more about it. But now the DOJ says, we feel there are more documents and we'll have to see what they do. Well, of course we know 
that the Trump Organization has recently been found guilty of all kinds of crimes, and that includes Ivanka and the other uh, kids of Trump. So that's probably where the documents are. They're probably on his airplane or with his children, Ivanka, Eric, or Donald Jr. So that's some place they can look. He might even hide them with his children, his grandchildren, or who knows what. He has such a conniving mind. He has the mind of a crook, definitely the mind of a crook. Well, we all know that the court in New York has found by jury trial that Donald Trump organization was guilty of numerous crimes, tax evasion, cooking the books, fraud, wire fraud, all kinds of things. And the testimony was mostly done by the person in charge of the books. I believe his name is Weisselberg. And so he is the only person who was charged and he will serve, get this, about 100 days, 100 days. Now, it's a federal case. If he gets off with doing 80%, he'll only serve 80 days. What's that, about two, a little more than two months. And that's pretty good for many, 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 many years of fraud, wire fraud, tax evasion, and so forth. Then there will be a fine, and that will be less than two million dollars i'm told so that's pretty good too stealing all those millions all of that fraud not only of the government but of citizens and not really getting much more than a minor slap on the hand in addition in that case trump and the kids were not charged they only charged the trump corporation so the corporation is guilty of all of these crimes, but the individuals who led the corporation were not found guilty because they were put in as individual defendants. So what does this mean? Well, it means Trump has slimed his way through another case. This man is an escape artist. He has slimed his way through another case and he will not be liable to go to jail or have any personal property confiscated by the courts. Neither will his kids. They're all scot-free. The case has been adjudicated. It cannot be taken back to court. Now, for the average person, this might mean the end of the line. But, of course, we know that Trump always appeals, and then he takes it to the next level higher court, a Supreme Court, and that would be the state Supreme Court because this was a state case. And then from there, he would take it to a federal Supreme Court. So we have a long way to go for Trump because he never stops. And that's how he's been scamming all of the people that have worked with him for years in that he has money to keep going at all of these courts and people who sue him do not have the money to keep taking the issues to higher and higher courts. They run out of money, they run out of time, they run out of energy. And Trump eventually, in his past history, would win more from exhaustion of the defendants than from anyone anything else. So Trump, I'm sure, will be still fighting that state court decision and we'll just have to see how it goes from there. So what is so what or does all of this mean for Trump? He won. Basically, the court case is over, says he's guilty, but basically Trump won because he has no individual liability in any of this. The only person I'm told that will suffer is the chief financial officer and he won't even do much time at all but that result doesn't even really affect trump that much because months ago trump already went and created a new organization donald trump 
Corporation too. And he did that out of the state of New York. He did that, I believe, in Delaware. And he may have even created other branches of the corporation where he can still hide his activities, still make money, still do the leasing of his name, Donald Trump. In fact, he just leased his name to Saudi Arabia for their golf course. And I would be very interested in knowing how many billions of dollars Donald Trump got from Saudi Arabia for that deal. Trump is now an announced candidate for office, and he should have to disclose that in federal papers. But we'll see if he does, and I'm sure he will not. But we'll see what happens. Trump also has some kind of deal with North Korea, and that should also be disclosed in his candidate financial papers, but I'm sure that Trump will skip over that too, but we'll see what happens. Now, we still have the case that was bought by the New York Attorney General against Trump for crimes related to his business in New York City. This relates to his bank fraud because he over-assessed the value of his properties, and then he would go to the bank and claim those higher values to the bank in order to get loans, and he would also claim a lower value of those same properties in order to avoid paying higher taxes, and he did many other things. So we will see how that case develops and progresses through the courts over the many years that follow, because we know whatever happens, it's going to go to numerous courts and have numerous motions in the future, and Trump will not go easy. Some of the Trump cases, or probably most of them, are under seal, so as Citizens, we are not allowed to see what was said, what was done in the case, and see all of the papers. So unfortunately, we will not get all of the facts, probably in our our lifetime. And they will probably be disclosed years later, as they did with John F. Kennedy when he was assassinated and other presidents who had papers that were withheld for security reasons. So that's the update that I have today for Trump. And I just need a break from this man. It goes on and on forever. Trump is also criticizing the deal that President Biden did in order to get Brittany Grenier out of Russia. Brittany went to Russia in order to play basketball, as she did on a regular basis, in order to earn more money during her playing years. When she got off the airplane, they found a small amount of drugs in her bag. I think it was cannabis, oil. And she admitted to having this in her bag. They gave her a sentence of nine years and she was basically a pawn because Russia was at war with the Ukraine and the United States was supplying and is supplying the Ukraine with money and ammunition and technology for the war against Russia. So I'm surprised that Biden could even negotiate reasonably with Putin head of Russia, but he was able to, and he was able to trade Brittany Grenier, a young girl in her prime, who's in her basketball playing years, and she is a championship player. He was able to get her out in exchange for a very big gun runner, gun dealer from Russia. 
Now, that was not a fair exchange in that the gun dealer was supposed to do 25 years in jail, and I believe he did 11 of those 25 years. So he got out early, and the fact that he is back in Putin's hand and the fact that Putin is at war means that he is going to be a very valuable asset to Putin in that Russian-Ukrainian war. So Brittany is just somebody's child. She was ordinary person, and it was very important to get her out. But there was another person in the jail in Russia who is a businessman. He was doing business in Russia, and he was charged with spying against Russia. He was convicted, and he has a very long sentence. And I believe he's only in his fourth year of incarceration. He says his conditions are very bad. It's very cold. And he wanted to get out, and his family wanted him out, but he did not come out with Brittany Grenier. And that's because... He has a different type of charge. Brittany was just a pawn. She really was not a big deal in Russia. She was carrying a small amount of drugs. They could have easily let her out without any deal. And there would have been no problem. This other person, this other American businessman, has some unknown business in Russia. He has some kind of asset that the Russians are interested in. He is convicted for a much bigger crime, spying, and Russia does not want to negotiate over him right now. They're waiting for somebody else to come into American hands that they can say, we have this guy, you let our guy out, and we'll give you this businessman. So he could not be a part of the deal. And Russia said, you either take Brittany Grenier now or we're going to keep her for the nine years. So there was a small window of opportunity. They were very limited as to who they could deal with. They couldn't just put various people up for negotiation to be included with Brittany. And so the United States took Brittany, because she was available to come home, and that deal was done yesterday, December 8th, 2022. So, congratulations to Biden for being able to negotiate it all during a war where Putin is losing large numbers of troops and even using mercenaries from other countries. So congratulations to Biden for being able to go through and at least getting Brittany out, and we'll just have to see how things develop in the future. Thanks for listening. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye.